President Trump's assertion that former President Obama tapped his phones is causing an uproar. So where is Trump getting this idea from? It's not from his intelligence agencies. Instead, the White House has confirmed to the Washington Post that the accusation stems from press reports. No surprise from a president known for being fixated on his portrayal in the media. Indeed, the idea that Obama was looking to undermine Trump in the last days of his presidency has gotten a big push from right-wing media over the last week. Radio host Mark Levin brought it up on Thursday night, prompting a Breitbart article on Friday. Trump's tweet storm followed the next day, but Levin and Breitbart weren't making the idea up out of whole cloth. They seem to have drawn the wiretapping allegations specifically from a story published by the right-wing news website Heat Street all the way back in November. That story claimed that in October, the FBI was granted a FISA warrant to monitor emails and other documents contained in a Trump Tower private server. The FBI would have been looking for evidence of Russian financial connections to Trump's campaign. So is the Heat Street report reliable? Hard to say. The Washington Post has been unable to confirm it. However, both BBC and McClatchy reported that a FISA warrant related to transactions from Russia was granted though the BBC says it would only have covered foreign citizens or foreign entities, which would not include Trump himself. So does it appear there is some evidence that the Trump campaign or its associates was under some sort of surveillance? Lawmakers are calling for some proof. But what we do know hasn't been reported anywhere is the idea that this surveillance was personally ordered by President Obama.